get the camera, Charles? Uh, okay. I did what they were asking me 20 minutes ago. I just went ahead and did it. Uh, so that's that. But uh, let's see. Let's see. Yep. Let's see. 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 All right. Let me go on to like page number whatever it is. Go to the page number you want. Let me see. 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 Let St. Charles Saints. We have Chatfield coming in at 5-2. and two. Looking forward to seeing tonight. Well, what you want to see from the Gophers is coming out and establishing themselves right away and, and trying to take control if they can. I, I know they're going to come out and press and try to set the tone, make, make it a more of a fast pace. McCaden, who is basically out for the year anyway, which is sad to hear, but um, a couple juniors and underclassmen, so they're just in learning and establish themselves and then hopefully go from there and Get a goal for victory. About doing things right and playing the right way. And for Coach Davidson, of course, Chatfield grad over there on yeah. the other sideline. Uh, he's kind of a couple other girls I think ended up not playing that he was kind of counting on. So I think Coach Davidson is really working on just developing that for the future right now. It's all about learning to play the game. Yeah, I understand that. But uh, he'll do a good job over there, and the kids will work hard. And uh, like I said, he's doing the best he can with what he's got. And it's just going to be one of those you tell the girls, your younger girls, you're going to get a chance to play. You're going to get a chance to develop, and we'll be good in a couple of years. Yeah, and he's got a veteran staff with him with Adam and Adam Gust. And here for our anthem as we'll go ahead and switch over our sound here. So All right, we're, so you'll get a chance to see some of our future gophers running out here on the floor. All right, and why we're doing of you know <laughs> watching it from a different angle. Um, what would you say is kind of the biggest thing you've seen from the gophers that's been a point of success for them this year? Well, I think the athleticism. Uh, they can push the ball a bit more, and I think that'll evolve into a little more uh, probably constant pressure. I think he's just kind of using it for certain teams, and some teams he's just kind of spot playing it, but. Might become a big staple for them down the road to try to create some easy buckets. The Gophers here, we got Britt Ruskell coming out, uh, meeting with Lydia worm from St. And for the Gophers, we got a guard, Taylor Osk, number 10 at five foot seven. For the Gophers, we've got Evie Goldsmith coming on the floor here, number 11. Evie's checking in at five foot eight. For the Gophers, we got junior, Kylan Schroeder coming out here on the floor at five foot 10. And wrapping out the St. Charles lineup is number 30, Kendall Knudsen, number 15, a 5-foot, 8-inch junior. All right, so as we're getting ready here to kind of throw it up and get the game started, uh, you see the gopher kind of huddle here. And St. Charles, Coach Davidson's out there trying to see, see what he can get started here. So we're looking for the gophers to come out after him early, right, Coach? Yeah, I agree. I think the pressure will be established right out of the gate, probably make or miss. And uh, they'll probably play their man to man, they're pretty standard for that. Times. Boy, if he doesn't, I'll be talking to him. I so agree. I've been waiting that's, to see it. <laughs> that's been something he's been telling us about for a long time, is he's been waiting to run this 1 3 1. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got Kari Goldsmith on camera for us tonight as we're getting ready to tip it off, and here we go. Nice little screen and roll action there. All right, Evie Goldsmith for two. 
And right off the bat, here with one there, Evie kind of saved us on the backside. All right, so now it's Schroeder. Be your first look. Yep, you got to think here. The Gophers are going to have that speed advantage, as you said. And number four is Braylon Gust here. She'll bring the ball up the floor for St. Charles. All right, gets a little bit loose. They're able to recover. All right, looks like we're going to be in the man-to-man -man in the half court here for the Gophers as well. <laughs> Working hard to get open there. The Saints doing a nice job of V-cutting. All right, and there's Warm Kagetke on the shot fake, looking to get in the paint, and it is no good. All right, so kind of what we expected to see here to the start of the Gophers here. We're looking at man-to-man -man on both sides right now. A lot of pressure from the Gophers, and the Saints are looking to sit back. All right, good attack there by the Gophers. Just keep oh, using into the line for two. I don't know if I jinxed them or something. Yeah, I don't know if it's your presence back <laughs> yeah. in the gym for causing some bad luck here. All right, oh, 0 for 2 for Knudsen. You just had to talk about I it. I know I shouldn't have said anything. My bad. <laughs> yep, so all right, again, extend. pressure even on the miss. We're looking to extend, and that pressure pays off. That's a turnover for Gust. All right, we're going to come back the other way with the Gophers basketball. Understand it. Yeah, I think right. That's the matchup we're kind of looking at there. Goldsmith with a little bit of a uh, speed advantage there on her rim attack. All right, it's we'll jump it. There oh, you go. Yep, nice job there, Kylan anticipating, and then we got Ruskell for the three. Oh, good, but oh, and Abby Goldsmith with a miss. Oh, and finally, I believe that was Britt Ruskell. You see why I gave you the Chatfield scoring, right? Yeah, I know. Keep Coach Baum is trying to. If you're <laughs> yeah, going to be taking care of St. Charles. All right, there's another one for Gus, throwing that ball out of bounds. All right, so it'll be the Gophers coming down here with a 6-0 lead. All right, we apologize. Our scoreboard is 6-0. All right, back on the offensive end come the Gophers. Nice catch by Taylor, and a nice finish. Taylor Osk for two. Looks like she'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, and this is one of those situations in these games that are, as we said, a little bit of a mismatch. You want to be careful because you're going to get a lot of steals, but you don't want to get bad habits with the hands. That's and exactly it. And I did talk to Coach. Don't reach. Move your feet. Yeah, you just you want to be aggressive but fundamentally sound because it's pretty easy to get a little carried away in your pressure situations here. Another turnover, a steal oh, by Schroeder. A little late. Yep, nice flash by Goldsmith there to help out in the corner. And there you get Knutson attacking, and no good. Schroeder attacking the paint. They've done a good job of making aggressive attacks, but coming to good, clean stops. Yeah, they seem to be in. All right, looks like we got another turnover there out of bounds, and the Gophers are almost going hockey lines tonight. We got four subs coming in here. It looks like we got Grace Schroeder, we got Katrin Johnson, Maya Henry, and Lexi Kibamagi. Lexi Kibamagi back there. All right, and that. Goldsmith's off to a hot start. Six quick points for her. All right, 14 minutes to go in the first half here. It is 12 to nothing Chatfield as Lexi Kibamagi's up pressuring the ball now. Yeah, and kind of taking on a different role right now. All right, oh, that's a dangerous pass yeah. there. That's one that you might think through again, but some nights it's all working out. There's Maya Henry for a three. That's, you can learn a lot in these games. When you don't rotate, all right, they will make you pay. All right, we've got to work to get open. There you go. All right, nice job by the Gophers. Katrin Johnson in the front court. All right, looking over to Grace Schroeder. All right, Grace is a nice, aggressive young player here, and she's been able to really develop as we talk about playing a role. She's been able to, you know, come in and play a little different role than she's used to. Oh, yeah. And so it's really benefited her as she's averaging nine points a game to start the season. All right, good pass ahead. And all of a sudden, a little mini run here by the St. Charles Saints. It makes Four it a 15 run. to four, yeah. All right, Goldsmith, that's your chance to attack there. They're really trying to pinch down. They're, they're giving up. The but here comes that pressure, and this is. Timeout, St. Charles. All right, Coach Davidson did not like that low trap in the corner. <laughs> Yeah, that's where you can't probably pick up the dribble there. One to, one to two dribbles and pick it up in the corner is not going to be a very good idea against that pressure. Yeah, you want to catch and face and then decide if you want to dribble or not. Maybe hit that cutter up there in the middle, but, boy, you use that dribble right away with your back to the... I think those 
you can come out prepared for it, and then you get a few turnovers, and all of a sudden you start to get a little here we go again feeling. And it's starting to look on Schroeder giving Evie Goldsmith a break. So the Gophers have gone nine deep early. And here they come again. The pressure is not going to stop. All right. Inbound to Gust. Great oh. idea. Yep, that's where you want it to go, but you got to be working. Yeah, you're right. That, that would have been a little easier bucket with the pass across the paint, but Schroeder is able to make it work for two. Oh, she's strong. Oh, she's a very, very strong and physical, aggressive player. All right, Kylan Schroeder trying to cut off there. Oh, again, there's Kivamak Turner. She kind of ran side by side with her. At least she didn't follow. That's half the battle. Yeah. All right, looks like that ball will remain with the Gophers. All right, Schroeder to inbound. Oh, I see you're trying to set me up for failure here, Coach Baum. I don't see Kylan Schroeder on my rebound sheet here. She's not on either one. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the first of many. Yeah. All right, so we'll just put another player down here. Oh, and a travel back there. Those those are the ones that is going to cause Coach Davidson to lose some of that yeah, hair. Yeah, she did a nice job of getting the rebound. All right, here we go. Inbound by Schroeder, a wide open Maya Henry on the backside. Good That's job. the second three for Maya here this half. All right, 22 to 4. Go for lead right now. All right, Good oh, almost hand, a right jump idea. there by Maya Henry. All right, looks like we're going to continue to try to press in that half court. There was a nice rotation by Lexi Kivamagi. She got stuck guarding two, and she just took care of business. Said that's the strong move. A lot of a lot of young players want to avoid that contact. Seems like Grace kind of thrives on it. She likes to go into that body. All right, so that'll be Grace Schroeder at the line for two. First one is good. All right, and again, near hockey line sub, everybody comes in and Grace Schroeder stays on. It's one of those nights for Coach Tollefson. He's hoping to kind of build a lead here, maybe get some experience for some younger players as well. And they got a game tomorrow with Cannon Falls, a day game. Yeah, so. that's a quick turnaround. All right, offensive rebound by Goldsmith on that one. All right, and a wide open shot for Knutson. Doesn't go. Gus clears the rebound. No, sprint, sprint, right, right into her. There it yep. goes. Chance to run for St. Charles, but again, they just don't see that backside rotation there, and Goldsmith gets another steal. All right, it's Ruskell to Osk, wide open. Taylor Osk just nails the three. She, Taylor wasn't thinking about anything else there. She was just ready to shoot. All right, and there's another turnover here, and here comes Osk leading the break here. Got Grace Schroeder on the drop off. It is good. All right, so the Gophers getting the easy buckets, and that leads to those wide open threes when yep. you can get a lot of layups. All right. Nice job by Goldsmith getting a tip there again. Knutson with the block, and then the rebound by Kendall Knutson. And here come the Gophers again. Britt Ruskell leading into the front court. All right, get set now. You have nothing going on. There you go. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's that's the young play. That's the inexperience. All right, and they take advantage of the turnover. Now, as I've mentioned, I'm a horrible statistician, but that might be the first turnover that I have for the Gophers. Oh, there's a second one. I shouldn't have said a word. <laughs> All right, and then it comes right back the other way. And that's been a key for the Gophers is taking care of the ball. And the games, the games they've lost, they've really struggled to take care of the ball. And so I think after watching the Doriota game last week and, you know, the, the focus has been on take. Dover definitely has them. Yep. Oh, and, man, I should not have said a word because that is three, three consecutive row, turnovers after having none by my account for the first about seven, minute, eight minutes of the game. So, all right, halfway through the first half here with nine minutes to go. It's Gophers 28, St. Charles St. 6. But on that lob pass, I mean, she catches the ball. It's like a receiver on the end line. I mean, yep, there's nowhere to there's go. There's nowhere either. to go. You're under the bucket. Yep, and so if you're going to throw that, that post needs to clear space up high. And here's Evie Goldsmith with the steal. And, Said Evie, Evie has a lot of speed. No one's going to be catching her when she gets out in front of the pack like that. So easy finish by Goldsmith. All right, looks like we're going to go back to man-to-man -to -man now. The pressure might be done here for Coach Tollefson. Focus on that yeah, half court. Yeah, don't do that. That's what you got to. 
Move the feet. Good job by Ruskell. She not only switched the screen, she squared the girl off and did a little hedging action. That's really can blow up that ball screen. Oh, that Knutson probably got away with one there. Deep three for Gust is good. I was going to say, I think that might be her first shot. There haven't been attempt. that many shot. Yeah, there haven't been many shot attempts for the St. Charles Saints. It's been a lot more turnovers than shots going up. All right, Osk with the at rim attack, and it looks like it's going to be an end one for Taylor. All right, and that looks like, yeah, I agree with the board there. That's nine points for Osk here in the first half. We got eight already for Goldsmith, six for Henry, six for Schroeder, and two for Ruskell. The Gophers spread it out a little bit, and a lot of, a lot of opportunities here tonight. All right, yep, Gophers definitely dropping off the press here, getting back in the half court, ready to play some man-to-man -man defense. Oh, there's another oh, a chance for a turnover. Didn't quite clear it. And, you know, the Saints are snapping the ball around. It's just the passers have not been clean. Another block by Knudsen. Rebound cleared by Goldsmith. And here come the Gophers. That's going to be Britt Ruskell wide open in the corner. Oh, and Ruskell hits the three. All right, 36 to nine. This is a very, very big first half for the Gophers offensively. You gotta give them credit. I mean, they've hit some threes and they made the drives, they made the good pass. And yeah, the Gophers have, as we said, played really clean until I jinxed them about turnovers. They were playing extremely clean basketball. Another turnover. All right, and here come the Gophers back again. Taylor Osk, she sees the open three. She likes it, but it is not going to happen. Oh, nice hustle. hustle by Knudsen. Gets the offensive rebound there, and then that leads to two by Goldsmith. Those are the plays you like to see when a hustle play leads to a layup. Bucket. That's yep. just good team basketball. All right, Coach Davidson uh, get himself a timeout here and maybe get himself set up here now that they're not pressuring, maybe a chance to kind of get a little – rhythm going on the offensive end for St. Charles. Yeah, and like you mentioned earlier too with Gust having to play out of position, you know, she could play pass and not see it again. And so far the turnovers, you know, they have shot attempts. Yep, it's it's pretty much been if you were calling a football game, we'd be calling the time of possession greatly in <laughs> favor of the Gophers. The <laughs> Saints had a lot of trouble possessing. All right, oh, we're going to run a little bit of a down screen action here. All right, looks almost almost like a little bit of flex action from Coach Davidson. Something. It is the flex, yeah. Yeah, I think that looks a lot, lot, like, across. lot like the flex with a little bit of a high cut. Gets the Saints to 12 here. It gets. It, maybe they can get their offense going a little bit, and we can have a little bit of a game here tonight. All right, good move by Schroeder, reading the flash up the high post. Kibamagi likes the three and no good, but there's Kendall Knudsen on the rebound. I'm sorry, that's Katrin Johnson on the rebound. Now that might be one shot that Coach Tolson. Those threes, especially like the Maya Henry threes. Oh, all right. Well, it looks like we've been talking to the air for a little while. So. I'll be the first to admit that. Yes, technolo technology help. Is all right. We're on the rim attack again. Good finish by Grace. If she. All right, and it looks like to resolve any tech issues we might be that experiencing. That was a nice, nice shot. Just missed a chance for a steal there for the Saints. It's going to lead to, there's the inside out through. All right, in the back, and then the leg kind of riding her out of position. All right, so a 28-point lead with four minutes forward, a little over four to go in the first. So not sure we're talking to anybody right now, but we'll keep doing it because we don't mind talking. don't exist on the team column, according to Coach Baum. <laughs> All right. All right. Sorry, you're li no, you listen to a little bit of side conversation here with Kari. And I. As per usual, when you put the two people up here who never run the test. All right. Good power screen action there. They're going to be Schroeder's looking to. All right. So if my calculations are correct, it looks like uh, it's not all figures in the first half. That's a very, very exciting for Coach. All right. Looks like Gus back for the Saints. We push up the floor. Everything but the made basket. Good pass. Ooh, good shot clock come into play for the first time with the uh, shot oh, clock. Oh, definitely. Down to possessions. And 
can't hold it. Or he you get in those late game situations and you have some good guards. The throw is no good for Cora David. There. Yeah, and so in these. Exactly. And back by Knutson's no good. So, oh, open look. I think that's just her second or third. Dissipating there by Taylor Osk. That's. Went to allowing the kids to use it really in the run and jump and trapping occurring nowadays. At and in the tight quarters of the paint. Rebound there by Henry. The Gophers just continue to pile it up as a 50-point first half. And Gus looks for the three. And you know, Coach Tollefson, it doesn't matter the score. You never like giving up offensive rebounds. No. Good. All right. So the halftime score here from Chatfield High School. And we'll be back with you here in just a moment. And work out here in front of the home crowd. Here at Chatfield High School, it's Jeff DeBoer and Russ for you. I'll start with the Chatfield Gophers. Britt Ruskell with eight. The rebounding front, I have in the first half, and 16. Granada leads the team with 6.2 for two points. So, oh. the first half, still had 17 turnovers. And rebounding-wise, they Yep, that's exactly it. And I thought the Gophers, that led to those open three-pointers. I think the open three-pointers were very much a result. That's what I was kind of... Uh, enjoyed is the fact that, didn't we, first um, half? Yeah, have I think for? if I look here at the Gophers, it looks like, and, you know, outside of maybe one shot, wide open shooters. So. Yeah, you know, if, if you could look at a 15-2, for the Saints, I guess what you try to do is, what I would tell the team if I'm in this situation, and I've been there before, is it's your moments that they, they missed a shot, but they had a couple nice drives, they had some ball reversals, they took the nice three. Impressed, actually, with the way they did keep their effort up. They kept their effort up there. I mean, it. as they develop some ball handlers and continue to grow in that way, that's that's a little bit of zone here from the Gophers, just some switching in the man-to-man. -man. Maybe just some switching. Listen. All right, Gophers came out with really good energy there to start the half on the defensive end, just really, really moving their feet. It's really about, you know, kind of getting that first group four or five minutes playing the right way. Back here, it looks like this might be some zone from the Saints. There's the It kind of flashed to where... Goldsmith had no angle to pass to her. All right, so offensive rebounds to start. All right. Gets the open look. She's the one you really can't, not that you're worried. Oh, another turnover there. The 1-3-1 is causing a little bit of a problem here. Rebound cleared by the Gophers, and here we go the other way. All right. So they're in a Gophers in that two. With number 10 up on top there. You no, you've got to eight, Use your dribble to create passing angles and passing lanes. I've been impressed with how they are playing. Yeah, nothing's going to change. But Evie can make that little flash of the high post, and then she can go high-low. He flashes that elbow. There's nobody on that backside. Correct. You can go high-low on that. And is this year, and we had a chance to come in. There's right there. a high. Yep. You, oh, oh. oh got to go attack. Oh, they're kind of just a little bit hesitant here. That ball's got to snap. Yep. And it's got to be. All right, they're down. All right, so the Gophers sticking with them. Knutson's kind of got a little bit of uh, toughness in her, too. She, oh, yeah. She sees that. She likes to get up in someone's face. Nope, that's not nope. there. I like using. I like the use of the, the correct. The attack is right, but just keep the dribble, back dribble out, and just reverse. 
All right. So creep up and not much of a gap. And turn to face. the defense to say, yeah, and that's a gift. Stifling the uh, Gophers a little bit here. Leads to an easy two. They bring a little trap, and they just, yeah, the Saints just really struggle, and they, they see her encouraging the contact. She's not leaning away. She's not trying to jump herself away from the body. She's taking the contact. Yeah, that. All right, Schroeder now one for three. And that's good. And you kind of see Coach Tollefson went to him. Getting a transition bucket can clean things up pretty quick. A wide open three, no good. Rebound, but get your spacing. It's so right now they're they're going odd against odd, and that's tough. Goodson for the Saints, and they look to push up the. It just seems well, like the turnover. Excuse me, six. Oh, and there, oh, Kivamagi. That's going to be a, uh, able to keep. It. And we know as well as anything, having coached for as long as you have and as I have. Ball court. Yep, turnover by Kivamagi. Oh, and steal it right. So important in that time, Evie wasn't in the high post. And correct. Create makes something happen. Yep. All right. So right now, as a coach, about the way you're playing in this second round. Pass up the floor to Gust. Cut off here. Schroeder and Henry both. Oh, nice sweep through there. Good. Yeah, yesterday was if they inbound the ball at the top. Huh. So it was a turnover on on a chat field and then time I a change of possession. That's what I thought. Automatic. Pivot. Good strong up there and looks to that opposite side. St. Charles will bring it back the other way. I like the way Schroeder not quite able to possess it. Ball goes back to the Saints and there's another St. Charles turnover. One in the second half has really slowed down the go for offense. Only six points. Six points. They are and that pass needed to come a step earlier. Ball on the inbounds. Strong with it, and she's going to get to go to the line. For, and gets her look at two. So in this situation as a coach, you're still in the 37. You know, you don't want to leave on a bad taste. The offense is not doing much. More so if there wasn't a game tomorrow, being their third game of the week, and being an afternoon. So as we say that, Aviana Thompson enters into the basketball. That's going to stay with the Gophers. That Shot back in the corner was wide open. We just didn't quite potentially for the Gophers. Yep. Yes, it is. Turnover for Aviana Thompson. All right, Grace Schroeder trying to stay in front there. Nice job. Stop. It's a lot of energy, and she's just bringing a lot of effort. And it looks like another timeout here. Is that Coach Davidson, I'm assuming, here with uh, St. Charles possession? So, And it looks like we will get Addison Allen. That's to go. All right, they'll start the kind of regular rotation has done their job. Today, too, I... I I like the concept, I get it, but I, I don't like today. It was almost 40 seconds before they took that first free throw attempt. And a lot of situations when that's happening, right? at least maybe start on that first free throw and then start the clock. And so I do think that would be a nice adjustment because, as you said, a lot of times some of these teams get in. I mean, the game ended with 24 seconds and a foul. Yeah, and that's what it's all about, right? It is, and obviously and somebody has seven eight nine players which we see that as well on the roster we got avi thompson oh gets oh, the block by gus fights back for the rebound yeah, gets a jump. that's always good to see all right up the floor here three one here for the saints okay we're just unable to quite get control school allen schroeder girls and so you do have to keep some regular way with the travel and then a turnover for Ruskell back the other way one more pass oh Kylan just got Kendall not given anything easy it open in the high post oh, we got Avi in that little wing a little elbow area as we said the scoring's really slowed down here is that yeah is it 10 to 3 you know, and sometimes you get in these rhythms here at the end. want the game to be over. Yeah. And you kind of get that feeling a little bit from the by Kendall. And it was a bounce pass. It was Coach, a bounce Coach pass. Coach has a bounce pass. It's fun. Praising of the bounce pass in his practices. Every time you see a bounce pass, you encourage it. And St. Charles staying in the 1-3-1, which has been able to slow down the Gophers a little bit. But... A little bit less excels and gets a tip, gets a tip on tip, it. Yep. Cleaning, cleaning, uh, leading to a Ruskell rebound. And that always get a chance to see the floor. Oh, and then some energy from Addy on this end, too. All right, listen on the floor and return with Amaya Har Harmoning and Katrin Johnson and Maya Henry. 
All right. The effort and energy I've seen from the gopher bench here. Yeah, they're doing a great job. It's fun to see. Kind of one of those character things. It says a lot about your team when everyone who steps on the floor. I always want to see the first reaction after she hits the floor. She pops back up, and might as well just so. <laughs> 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 There's not going to be a lot of hustle getting up <laughs> off the floor. And I've been told tonight by my co-host here that I will be playing, apparently, in that game. The Saints pushing forward here. Still got Gust in the game with four minutes to go. And just the Gophers have had to do things the right way. Be active, be aggressive, but don't play bad basketball. It's a minute or so. Getting us to a 15-point second half, but the 52-point barrage. Of All right, we come back the other way with Lydia warm -Kageki. Oh, nice hands by Maya. Yes, nice job by Amaya. Oh, Ooh. that's one where Amaya rotated really well, and she was pretty square there. Rotation by Amaya. You know, as younger players, you're able to help around the rim, but all right, so we are down to the last two minutes unless we have a timeout. Oh, steal up top. All right, is the another turnover by the Gophers. I missed that one. Did you see who that was on there? Uh, Thompson. That was on Thompson. All right. All right, so in the front court. All right, kind of Coach Davidson looks like, you know, it's nice to keep some of those girls out there longer so they can continue to develop. No. Oh, yes, rebound. Into the front court again for the Saints. All right, and you see kind of plagued by the same problems. Just not a lot of clean passing and catching. Shot goes up, no good. Nice offensive oh, board nice. and put back. Three seconds of the game here. That's going to be the final from Chaffield High School. That is a Chaffield goal for victory. Brian Baum here with Kari Goldsmith on camera tonight. We'll be right back with you. Kind of wrapping up your evening here in day three. All right, and we have some. All right, so uh, the totals I had for 10 turnovers in the second half. Uh, the one to 14 rebounds for the Gophers to it for a total of points. Grace Schroeder, Taylor Osk, and Abby Goldsmith each had two points. And then we were able to get Lexi Kibamagi with five. How about the Saints? Yeah, for the Saints, Rylan Vatlin had six points. Lang had two points. Again, it was a story. They had 33 for the game. One of six hard right to the end, no matter who was on the floor. Uh, we're playing for the future, and one through one is going to be his thing. And it, it can be a little tricky to run if you don't have your spacing. For uh, the early Gophers here, what do we have to look forward to on CCTV? Then they finish up with a tough one with, or well, they travel to, excuse me, they're, no, we're almost approaching that Christmas break. All right, so as we look forward.